Welcome to the Mental Health Policy Lecture on Terms and Definitions. There are multiple terms used to define the phenomenon of mental health. Some that you are more familiar with within the context of social practice. Some might be an emotional problem or mental health problem. You may have heard um, clients or other individuals in the public refer to a troubled person. Um, <clears throat> some more technical terms might be a psychiatric disability, um, developmental disability, or an SMI, severe mental illness, emotional disturbance. Regardless, all of these terms are referencing some degree of positive or negative uh, symptoms associated with mental health. The Surgeon General defines mental health as a state of successful performance of mental function, resulting in productive activities, fulfilling relationships with other people, and the ability to adapt to change and to cope with adversity. Mental health is indispensable to personal well being, family, and interpersonal relationships, and contribution to community or society. Furthermore, the Surgeon General defines mental illness as the term that refers collectively to all diagnosable mental disorders. Mental disorders are health conditions that are characterized by alterations in thinking, mood, or behavior, or some combination thereof, associated with distress and or impaired functioning. It's important to understand that um, the public's understanding of mental health problems and what contributes to that heavily influences um, the development of mental health policy. This table outlines um, the general consensus uh, as of 1996. And you can see here that at that time, um, people generally understood and believed that stressful circumstances contributed greatly to varying types of mental health issues. Um, most of them did not believe that it was purely, um, for example, God's will. There was some degree of genetic or heritability components, but you can see that that varied depending on um, what they identified as the mental health issue. In this slide, we can see a comparison of how the public's perception and beliefs about mental health problems have changed since 1996 to 2006. Uh, for example, if you look at uh, chemical imbalance, you can see a shift in um, an increase. More people now believe that there is a chemical imbalance as well as a genetic component to mental health issues like schizophrenia, major depression, and alcohol dependence. However, there are some other things also that aren't necessarily backed by science um, that have seen an increase. And one of those would be the idea of bad character and how, for some reason, that's more assigned to a contributing factor for alcohol dependence as opposed to um, perceptions in 1996. Also an increase in the way that a person was raised, um, the idea that somehow that's influencing alcohol dependence. So it's just important to understand that uh, the public's perception of mental health um, influences the development um, and changes in mental health policy and that the public's perception changes over time. This table outlines findings from a 2007 survey of attitudes. Um, and it's interesting because it shows that um, people generally believe that treatment can help individuals with mental illness lead normal lives. However, they're not so confident in the belief that people are generally caring and sympathetic to people with mental illness. 